And someone made a very good observation, and I'm going to steal their observation. I wish I had. I wish I could give you credit. Was the big handrail, powder coated handrail, goes around the front? They're like, oh, it's good for tying off. I go tying off to an anchor, or grabbing it and dragging your ski up the beach. That's the whole point. Because what do they want you to do? They want you to explore beaches and riverfronts and coves and all sorts of this crazy stuff. All right. And it's a front bumper. It's not a bumper. It doesn't extend out further than the rest of the ski. This is not protruding out the front. That, that plastic thing is the bumper. This big old schnoz on the front, that big old thing is just a drag me up the beach rail. <laughs> I started laughing. I was like, okay. And one guy made a really good comment. He goes, man, if they want you dragging this thing up rocky beaches, I really wish they put like a keel guard on this because th this guy's on a, gr this is not sand. This is a gravel beach, probably up in Ottawa somewhere. Okay. This is hard rock. And he's going to drag that damn thing way up the beach. <laughs> and pray that the tide doesn't go out too far that he's stuck. And that's what they want you to do. They want you to, to drag it up the beach, tie up your nose, and camp. These people have a little pup tent, and they're roasting marshmallows on an open fire, and you can see the ski sitting there on the water. There's a couple other things that would make this thing super plush, and that's what I'm thinking is going to happen when they make the Explorer... I don't know, outdoorsman or whatever they're going to call it in two years' time. And that's going to be keel guard, navigation lights. A lot of states and a lot of countries allow nighttime operation if you have navigation lights. That might be a legal issue. It might be a legal problem. But think about navigation lights on this thing. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.